Okay, this is our first review of a beer from Summit Brewing Company, which is out of St. Paul, Minnesota, the other twin city, aside from Minneapolis, of course. Uh, this is their True Brit IPA, uh, which comes into us at 6.4% ABV. As you may have uh, thought, it is an English-style IPA. I don't know why they would call it an American IPA True Brit, so you guessed right if you guessed English IPA. <clears throat> You're probably not going to win any awards for that, but... Congrats, anyway. Anyway, this uh, brewery was founded uh, in 1986, established in 1986 by a guy named Mark Strutrud. Strutrud. And it's another one of those stories. A lot of these early craft breweries, uh, the founders basically went out and decided to uh, make craft beers inspired by the old world brewing uh, companies, and or brewing traditions, I should say, and that's exactly what he did, word for word, according to the website. Went out. I guess he went to, probably went to Europe like so many of them did, and came back with uh, delusions, or, ugh, or uh, not delusions of grandeur, but just lofty goals of saying, hey, we can do this in the U.S. too, and look where we are now. Um, their Extra Pale Ale, which is called Summit Extra Pale Ale, that's their flagship beer. Uh, also uh, popular is their IPA, the Saga IPA, which is an American IPA. So this is their True Brit IPA, which according to the website was established in 1993, but the first review on Beer Advocate wasn't until 2014, I believe, so I don't know what about what to believe there. That's a long gap right there between a beer being established in the first review on uh, Beer Advocate. Maybe uh, it was called something else before. I don't know. This is a year-round beer. Um, it says it's basically their classic Summit IPA without the special B malt and a 33% increase in dry hopping. Um, uh, let's see, uh, you're round and lightened by, uh, a spicy herb. So, 61 IBU, so, you know, pretty decent on the IBU scale. So here's the kind of okay label. It almost looks like a, like an old 50s advertisement. The style of bottle is kind of like an old, um, 50s style of bottle, too. So let's get into this glass here and see what we got. As we pour it in, we see a very, uh, looks like a, an orangey IPA. Very orangey look to it. With a nice fro uh, nice uh, head to it. Very nice head to this beer. Um, I'm going to say about uh, three fingers or so. Um, here you see the color. Very orangey. Uh, Aroma-wise, hmm, not much there. Maybe a very subtle uh, hop uh, scent to it. No real backbone as far as uh, the citrus goes, but you know what? Uh, it's an English uh, IPA, so they're a little more proper and a little more malty than your American counterparts, uh, as you know. So it's a subtle taste that you kind of expect from an English IPA, so, or su subtle aroma, I should say. So let's get the, ta let's get the taste now, I should say, of a uh, True Brit IPA from Summit. Hey, you know what? A little bit of a watery feel in the front of the front of the tongue, um, to a bite, a hot bite on the back of the tongue. Um, very bittering, uh, not very uh, big on the fruits that you have over here in the uh, U.S., but it is very bittering. Crispness is there, very crisp, uh, and a decent taste uh, as well for this style. This is a great example of the style. I don't think I've ever had a, uh, an English uh, IPA that really captured what the description was uh, until this one. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, uh, True Brit IPA. I think just for the style of this beer, it's very, very pinpoint, um, classic. Uh, aroma could have been uh, tightened a little bit, uh, I think. Um, Taste-wise, uh, a very good taste. Maybe a little too bitter in the back of the throat, but that's kind of nitpicky. Uh, I just think that this is exactly what you would want from this style. If you hear this style um, described to you, uh, it's, you know, the Americans, they throw everything under the kitchen sink to their IPAs. This is the classic IPA, the classic um, 
what it was back in England. Uh, and I think they did a hell of a job uh, with this, recreating this in St. Paul, Minnesota. So 9 out of 10 for Summit Brewing True Brit IPA.